here I am giving the voice over for initiating devices supervisory testing method as per NFEA 72 2019 edition. So please don't skip this video and watch till the end. For more videos that related to fire alarm system and fire suppression system, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon and keep watching my videos. First one is room temperature switch. The method of testing these switches is operate switch and verify receipt of signal to indicate the degrees in room temperature to 40 degree Fahrenheit and its restoration to above 40 degree Fahrenheit. Next one is water temperature switch. The method is operate switch and verify receipt of signal to indicate the degrees in water temperature to 40 degree Fahrenheit and its restoration to above 40 degree Fahrenheit. The next one is high or low air pressure switch. The method is operate switch and verify receipt of signal is obtained where the record pressure is increased or decreased a maximum 10 psi 70 kPa from the record pressure level. Next one steam pressure switch. The method is operate switch and verify receipt of signal is obtained before pressure decreases to 110% of the minimum operating pressure of the steam operator equipment. Next one, water level switch. The method is operate switch and verify receipt of signal indicating the water level raised or lowered a maximum 3 inches 70 mm from the regular level within a pressure tank or a yeah, maximum 12 inches 300 mm from the required level of a non-pressure tank. Also verify its restoral to required level. Next one is control valve switch. The method is operate valve and verify signal received to be within the first two revolutions of the hand wheel or within one to fifth of the travel distance or per the manufacturer's published in sections. Continue to cycle outside stem and yoke walls and verify switch doesn't reset during full travel of the valve stem. The next one is Pressure supervisory devices for other sources. The method is operate switch and verify receipt of signal is obtained where the required pressure is increased or decreased from the normal operating pressure by an amount specified in approved design documents.